Momolianism is a belief system, of the Kadazan Dusun people of Sabah, formerly North Borneo. The belief is that land is a gift from the Creator, the earth is a center of the universe and that the land connects them to the past, present and future. This system of belief, inherited from the ancestors, was passed down through the Boboazan, Kadazan term or Bobolian Dusun term priestesses, and has guided and ensured the survival of the Kadazan Dusun people, throughout their social evolution from small community of settlers in what was said to be a ten-household longhouse at Nunuk Ragang to the present population of more than half a million individuals 2010 Malaysian census Figure. The term Momolianism itself is derived from word Bibolian. Topic <inaudible> Origin. This belief system has its origin in the first ancestors' interaction with the natural and spiritual environment at Nunuk Ragang, the legendary ancestral home of the Kadars and Dusun. This belief system was an integral part of the Kadars and Dusun life before the advent of organized religion. Central to Momolianism is the belief that the Kadars and Dusun live in an environment consisting of the seen material world and the unseen spirit world. It was most important to ensure continuity of the balance and order between the natural and spirit environment. Some scholars would equate this to animism. <laughs> <laughs> Basic belief Communications with the spirit world They Kadars and Dusun believed that there is as much effort on the part of the denizens of the spirit world to communicate with the denizens of the material world as are the denizens of this material world attempting to communicate with the denizens of the spirit world. This effort at communication gave birth to the office of the Bobolians, categories of members of Kadars and Dusun people with special gifts and abilities to communicate with their counterpart in the spirit world. The Bobolians' counterpart in the spirit world is known as the Susukuan, or reference spirit being. The ability to communicate with each other is described as Kih Gimbaran, or Asundu, in possession of spiritual power. This power is at the same level as another category of members of Kadars and Dusun people known as Osiu, in possession of fearlessness in war, warrior. It was for this reason that in past times when the early egalitarian Kadars and Dusun community faced unprecedented crisis, the Bobolians would provide the spiritual guidance whilst the warriors rendered their warfare services. Gifts and sacrifice play an important part in establishing communication between the material world and the spirit world. To initiate communication, a Bobolian has to initially provide gifts to the counterpart spirit in the form of prepared food, boiled chicken flesh and egg, and drink, fermented sweet to pie, lying. The counterpart spirit or spirits in the spirit world may also establish communication with humans via medium that impact directly on human senses such as hearing, sight, smell, touch, and taste. Thus, for example a Kadars and Dusun on his way to the farm is informed by a spirit of impending danger by the frantic warning call of the Lokiu bird a woodpecker bird or a Lontugi giant millipede stationary on his or her pathway. He or she would then desist from continuing with her journey. Salvation The Kadars and Dusun believed that in the past the community had experienced a unique salvation event. This salvation experience was not for the purpose of easing or to guarantee a place in paradise. It was to ensure the survival of the Kadars and Dusun race. 
In that event, Huminadan, a human maiden daughter of Kanoringan and his wife Sumanundu, allowed herself to be sacrificed, her body parts dispersed over the earth to later sprouts as food plants for the people facing extinction during a devastating famine. From henceforth the Kadars and Dusun people celebrate Huminadun's sacrifice as the Tadai Karmatan or Harvest Festival Thanksgiving to her. The Nameth name of the Kadars and Dusun deity is still debated, with some considering Kinoingan or Kanorohingan as just a deified and worshipped human ancestors whilst others think that a more appropriate approach would be to refer to their god as Minamangan. Creator. This contrasting stand may be the result of influence from members of the community who had embraced other organized religions such as Christianity or the Islamic faith and the need to thread with care so as not to seem to going against their new faith. During the preparation of the first Kadars in English dictionary by the European missionary, certain word, including the word for God, were wrongly translated by the translators. The death belief system of the Kadars and Dusun has no concept of heaven and hell. The dead were believed to have just passed on to another realm of life and moved to the new home Nabahu or Akanabalu from the word. Aki, meaning old man, later officially named Mount Kinabalu. The body of the dead, consigned to burial as immediately as possible, also referred to as Lisok or Hyde, to prevent foreign spirit invasion, and the spirit referred to as Koduduo or your second sent off by vigorous hitting of the floor on which the coffin was laid. On the seventh day a ceremonial, Populi, to invite home, was conducted to allow for the Koduduo to re-enter the earthly home so as to enable it to retrieve any forgotten belongings. This ceremony includes Momisok, or switching off lights so as not to scare off the Koduduo. The Babolian's role in this ceremony is to ensure that the Koduduo is properly sent off. In 2015 a major earthquake which caused the loss of several lives occurred at Mount Kinabalu, presumed by Babolians to have been caused by the misbehavior of several European men and women who stripped naked on Mount Kinabalu's peak. The dead ancestors of the Kadars and Dusun were said to be angered by the desecration of the home. Topic: <laughs> Traditional healing. Momolianism is closely tied to traditional healing because all the Babolians are traditional healers. The process of healing in Momolianism is referred to as Manampasi, which is somewhat akin to salvation, only that it involves a process of ritual negotiation with denizens of the spirit world, so as to temporarily not accept the Koduduo's entry to Nabahu. Evolution of Momolianism Momolianism began as a belief system to guide the early small community of settlers' life interactions with the highly forested natural environment of Nunuk Ragang. As the environment changed due to human exploitation the belief system also undergo changes to accommodate to new reality of community life. Forest phaseth need to evade a crisis of overpopulation at site and over exploitation of the forest resources at Nunuk Ragang led to the introduction of the minoret tiny spiritual beings concept so as to spur migration and dispersal. The Babolians' advice to the Nunuk Ragang warrior leaderships to initiate the abandonment of Nunuk Ragang was fully complied with by the people leading to the migration up the Lawagu Kogabangan and the Lawagu Kawananan rivers. 
This point to the strong influence of Momolianism in ensuring continued existence and population growth of the Kadars and Dusun people. Paddy cultivation Fazi After the introduction of paddy planting, the community was subjected to another major crisis involving severe crop failure and consequent famine. This led to the introduction of concept of worship of Kanoro Hingan and Huminadan traditional Tadai Karmatan festival. This phase of evolution of Momolianism could not have happened at Nunuk Ragang. The Nunuk Ragang inhabitants were not wet paddy planters, but practice vegiculture, i.e. cultivating and propagating the yams, sweet potato and cassava using suckers and cuttings. The Rumanai people ethnic group were the first Kadars and Dusun to acquire the skill of wet paddy planting. Hence their name, Rumanai, which means, one who cultivate wet paddy. The Gusi cult phase worship of Jars began among the Tuaran Kadars and Dusuns. The Guritam cult face veneration of skulls at Sunsuron. This phase developed in tandem with the advent of the headhunting phase among the Kadars and Dusun. At Nunuk Ragang, the Kadars and Dusun families, being small community, were at peace with one another and the Guritam was non existent. The Guritam House of Skulls at Sunsuron, Tambunan had been removed and the skulls transferred to the Saba Museum. Another site at Sogindai, Ranau was previously being used as a Guritam. The Guritam phase came about as a result of the absence of the law and as an attempt at presenting visual warning to any party deviating from the norm in relationship among the descendants of the Nunuk Ragang settlers. The syncretistic phaseth coming of European influence had a major impact on Momolianism. The largely tolerant Catholic religion, allowed for dual practice of Momolianism and Christian faith to exist side by side. 